Open LXQCAD software and select the custom profile that we created in the previous tutorial. Create a new package from the data, package menu option and name the package. Select the newly created package by double clicking on the leftmost fixed cell of the row. Now we will add a section to the package. Name the section appropriately without any special characters except underscore, dash and space. Select the section by double clicking on the leftmost fixed cell. The first step would be to enter the design profile values for this section. For that we will bring up the design profile details form and add a new record. Let the change field remain as zero. Now we will enter the bed width, FSD, free board, bed slope, left bank width and right bank width values. We will leave the SRS left and SRS right values as it is. We are done with this, so we will close the profile details. The next step is to enter the design levels or center levels as we call them. We don't need to enter levels for every change if it is in a gradient. We just need to enter the levels for the first change and the last change. The software will automatically calculate the gradient for the intermediate levels. Once design levels are entered, we can proceed to the next step, that is to enter the original ground levels or initial levels. I have this data in an Excel sheet which I am going to use for plotting the canal cross sections. Select the data that we need and copy it from the Excel sheet. Now paste it into the blank initial level sheet. Make sure there are no empty rows in the Excel data. It might save trouble later. That is it. Now we are done entering the required data. We can proceed to see the generated cross-section output. Click on Output, Plot Cross-Section Menu option. Here you need to enter the page width, page height, number of sections per page, border x, border y and section gap. Except for number of sections per page, all the rest are in drawing units. The page width and height are dependent on the width and height of the cross section at each change. You can tinker with these values after looking at the generated output till you are satisfied. Here is the output. Thanks for watching.